Good evening, everyone. It is Sunday, 6-12 in the evening on October 28th in the year of our Lord, 2018. My name is Michael DiCarlo. This is my blog, thecarlosdanger.com, sitting here in the world headquarters from my garage. Having a cup of coffee, smoking a cigarette. Kids do not start smoking. It's really hard to, or using tobacco in any way. It's really hard to quit, and it's not good for you, and it'll kill you. So I was thinking about this last week and things that have gone on. Uh, in Arizona, we're getting bombarded by the corp the media corporations with a tremendous amount of uh, political commercials and ads. They kind of all make me laugh. <clears throat> the one was uh, inspired me to do this video. I'm going to call the title of this video, Sailing the Seven Seas of Arizona. Most people know that there's only five, that there are five seasons in Arizona, but I'm going to enlighten you to a couple more. Arizona is known for the land of cattle, copper, cotton, citrus, and climate. Those are the five seas that everybody knows about. But there's two others. We'll call them condescending conversations, <laughs> which is fine. Some people need to understand that they're high horse one day when they fall off. It's a long fall. You know, the higher, you, higher you're up there, the further that it is. Which is kind of one of the reasons that inspired me to be a submariner. Because, you know, if you're not falling in the Marianas Trench, you know, the deepest place in the, in the ocean, uh, you're not falling very far, but either way, it's, uh, it's got a bitter end to it. <laughs> ah. This isn't a condescending conversation at all. This is, I'm just hoping to make it maybe a little bit enlightening. If you've, some of you have watched uh, perhaps the, my prior video that I, I, I made uh, regarding the, the stuff that's gone through the postal, supposedly gone through the postal service that doesn't have any, uh, didn't have any of the stamps canceled, you know, and we can't figure out why the postal service needs, is broke and has to raise its rates every every so many years to make sure they can pay for the people's pensions that are living longer than they're supposed to after they've done their 20 or 25, 30 years, whatever, in the Postal Service, got their pensions and their health care and all that other stuff. One of the comments that I made during the, uh, regarding health care, reg in, during the forum that I was in with uh, the other candidates, uh, was a remark that I made about socialized health care. And being a product of socialized health care in the military where you don't pay anything, but you get cared for. I'll give you a, for instance, my, my comment to that, you know, it's all great and everything, does, but it that doesn't mean it's competent. While I was in the Navy, I hurt my shoulder working on a floating wire antenna when I was on the USS Dixon. We were rebuilding it because uh, someone on board, whatever boat it was, didn't operate it properly. And they tried to pay it out with electron, with hydraulics where it's meant to be paid out or released uh, by drag. So they shoved too much in it, and it got all wrapped around, and it didn't function. And there's no way really to get it out once you... It's sort of like a fishing line, a, a fishing rod when you get it all twirled up, and you get that bird's nest in there. Well, you get this bird nest inside this thing that weighs like 500 pounds, made out of stainless steel. Uh, <laughs> and you got to take it apart. Well... Sometimes the jacking bolts and everything don't release it. And you got to give some oomph. I gave some oomph when I tore my labrum in my left shoulder. But yeah, I had socialized medicine, man. It's all good to go, right? Well, it took over two years to get this in, in a round of, uh, what was I getting? First, I would get a cortisone shot about once every month, two months. Now, it was, first it was once a quarter, so every three months. So I probably got four of those in a year. And then I transferred and I started going to an Army doctor on Fort Irwin. And I think I got 10 cortisone shots with steroids in my shoulder for the next year until I just like, are we going to do anything to fix this? Because I keep coming back to you every month and it's continuing to fall out of joint. And then he realized that he looked through my medical record. At that time it was paper, so it was still there. And he didn't have to look through the computer screen and stare in there and type. And he realized that, holy moly, I've given this guy so much steroids in the last year, and nobody can figure out why I was gaining weight or why I had a moon face. <coughs> but 
that is what it is, and it happens. <laughs> and then I finally got surgery, and I got it done at uh, Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas, and did some physical therapy on it. It's never been back what it was, but it was a lot. It, it's a lot better now than it ever was when it was hurt. So can't complain too much. The only thing I can complain about is I really love baseball and softball, and that's the way I enjoy. Uh, sport that I really enjoy, and I am unable to participate in those, and it's really uh, because I can't lift my shoulder <laughs> past a certain point without pain, and it's uh, it's kind of disparaging to be living this life and doing what I did to enjoy life and not be able to do the things that I really enjoy, but it's all right. It's fine. It is what it is. It, Man makes plans and God laughs. That's the way I look at it. But this last week, there were bombs, explosives. There were uh, devices that were created that did not have detonation ability sent to certain political figures of a certain party that is blue in members that support the blue party. So... It's one of those you get kicked in the head by a jackass so many times you start to believe things. And I feel your pain, folks, because if it's a blue team, you're getting kicked in the head by a jackass. If it's a red team, you're shov shoveling elephant shit. Either way, it's terrible, right? And it's not a winnable solution because the true solution is in the middle. And if you get red and blue together, you end up with a little bit of purple. I think this is the bird of paradise, so may it fly up their nose. But here's the gig. You can do your research on this, but the United States of America no longer exists in the way that we think it is, and the way that we're thought it, but that we thought and we're brought up to believe it, believe it is. There's a corporation of the United States. That's why you have the United States government. Doesn't, is not the government of the United States of America. It's wordplay. We're concentrating on common core math, numbers, right? Trying to teach our kids, trying having our kids being taught in a way that we're not able to understand because we weren't taught that way. However, the real play is a play on words, and it comes down to cap, uh, punctuation. In the legal fields, everything that is capitalized, everything's capitalized. And when you write things that are legally have a couple meanings, they're all capitalized in letters, in the word. The word's all capitalized. Uh, that's why sometimes I write corporation, all capitalized. Uh, all of our city governments are corporations, so they're dead, dead entities, but they got to eat. They got to gotta feed it, and then they got to get rid of the waste. City governments, county governments, state governments, and federal governments, they're all dead entities. If you look at corporations, they're all dead. But the sad part is, is that even though it's already dead, you can't never kill it. Because, as Ronald, I'm going to paraphrase Ronald Reagan here, there's nothing nothing quite like eternal life on Earth than a bureau of the federal government or something like that. Uh, even if it is abolished, it is just renamed and does the same function. So... I mean, when I was a child, you didn't want to sit too close to the television because of the, the tube. And you ended up with the, it was either the voltage coming out, or the voltage coming out of you or the magnetism on the sides. And I'm going to say it's the voltage coming out of you because back then you could take a magnet and screw up the screen. So you're introducing magnetism from the front when it would be on the outside. Or maybe I'm backwards, and maybe I'm wrong on that, but it was just the way that the uh, pixels were illuminated through the electronic stimulation. Now we have uh, crystal diodes and electronic diodes that create the, the picture on the television. That mean, would mean that our magnetism is on the outside, I would believe. Either way, uh, you got the way I think about this is that uh, Goebbels, Goebbels was able to get the country of Germany to dance and sing and fight World War II with the uh, printing press and the radio and 
we have a country now that through the printing press and the radio and the television can make you dance and get you to believe whatever you see there because <clears throat> you trust the person that's on there because all they're doing is reading a script. That script is pre-approved. That script is drop, dropped off. And if you, you can look this up, you can look this up on the internet, on YouTube, anywhere else but the media, corporate media. Look up some, uh, some things that some citizen journalists have produced uh, on Operation Mockingbird on how their, the talking points are the same no matter what channel you watch. I don't care if it's you watch ABC, CBS, NBC, uh, Fox, CW, any news source that you watch on important events, they will have the same exact talking points and, and they will present it to you the same way. Especially around the holidays, it seems something about Santa Claus and the economy or the Easter Bunny or something like that. Those are pretty self-evident, which to me means, means bull crap, whatever. Uh, America, you are... Most of American society has a, a severe case of corneal rectal inversion. I got to tell you something. All governments from the history, from time immemorial, have lied to its people in order to create a need to confiscate your wealth. All governments. The one thing that we have going for us here in America is the Constitution of the United States of America, which is a con Constitution is what it's made up of, which is actually also crap. But the Constitution of the many states united was built by people who saw or read history and understood that every government eventually turns tyrannical. And as Abraham Lincoln said, this is a government of, by, and for people. And it can only be of, by, and for if you're well informed and understand that all governments from the history of time never had in its being the best interests of any of its citizens in it. A friend of mine fellow a youtuber his name's bowman you can look him up he did an excellent analysis on seculum which was a measurement of time between conflict and financial collapses and societal regeneration on how this system of plays can be rejuvenated to reoccur over time and the only thing that's changed is really the amount of technology that we have and how we can present it how it can be presented to us the public on the creation of need for further government growth. Everything in government is backwards. Everything is upside down. Everything that not everything that you see on the television is true. Not everything is a lie. But you have to be granted or have to develop a method of discernment to fully understand what is going on in society. I, I've come to the point in my life where I can't believe that a man with a satellite phone living in a cave and a laptop was able to coordinate with folks on airplanes to hit buildings that ex the airplanes exceeded the maximum Maximum, maximum or, uh, airplane operating envelope at near sea level because air is heavier at sea level because of water vapor. The wings of these airplanes would have fallen off because they're not structurally built for that. The commercial planes are meant to transport people from place to place in the most efficient way possible by using a finite resource. But Do some background into that. It's metallurgy. Certain metals melt at a certain temperature. It's physics. Uh, you look at some Las Vegas buildings collapses in the 90s when they rebuild the stuff. Well, anyway, this is 15 minutes. My 15 minutes is up. Michael DiCarlo signing off. Be well. Take care of each other. Love each other. Later.